We have five different types of white blood cells. We have got neutrophils. Neutrophils are the most common white blood cell and about 66% of our white blood is neutrophils. We've got monocytes. They are another type of white blood cell and they make up about 15%. Lymphocytes are a white blood cell that are made in your lymph nodes, so in your lymphatic system. The other ones are made in your bone marrow. Basophils and eosinophils, they just make up a very small amount of your white blood cell. Your lymphocytes are your scouts. So they zoom all around the blood looking for any harmful pathogens. And if they find them, they say, Say, hey guys, especially neutrophils and monocytes, we've got some problems here that need to be wiped out. And so these two come along and they start to wipe it out. So you see, they're in your body to protect your body. They're your internal army. They're your immune system. In this video, we're diving into the fascinating world of blood types, exploring the risks and benefits associated with each one. Your blood type is more than just a label. It's a key factor that can influence your health in unexpected ways, from the diseases you're more or less susceptible to, to how your blood type could affect your medical care. Your blood type plays a crucial role in your overall well-being. But with so many different blood types out there, have you ever wondered if yours might be the worst? Is there such a thing as a better or worse blood type? We'll break down the science behind how blood types are inherited. The incredibly rare Orange Null blood type, often called golden blood, and why it holds so much importance for both medical research and emergency situations. We'll also explore how your blood type could influence your risk of developing certain health conditions like heart disease, cancer and ulcers. For example, did you know that people with type O blood might have a lower risk of heart disease, but a higher risk of developing stomach ulcers. Plus, we'll discuss the myth of the blood type diet, often promoted as the secret to optimal health. Does your blood type really determine the best food for you? Spoiler alert, science says it's not true, and we'll explain why. Finally, we'll take a look at the cultural belief, particularly in Japan, that blood types are linked to personality traits. Is there any truth to it or is it just a fun myth? By the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to about blood types. So don't miss out. Before we get started, I'd love to know where are you tuning in from today? Drop a comment below and feel free to ask any questions and topics you would love us to discuss. And subscribe if you're new here. Now, let's dive in. Inheritance and rarity of blood types. Blood types are inherited traits passed down from our parents just like eye colour, hair texture or even height. Each parent passes down one version of the ABO gene which determines your blood type. The ABO system includes four main types, AB, AB and O. Based on the presence or absence of antigens on the surface of red blood cells, together these create the eight most common blood types. A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, A B positive, A B negative, O positive and O. The way these traits are inherited follows predictable genetic patterns. For example, the A and B alleles are dominant while O is recessive. This means if both parents have type B blood but carry the O allele, they could pass that on to their child resulting in either type B or type O blood. On the other hand, if one parent has AB blood and the other has O, these combinations can lead to surprising outcomes and show just how fascinating human genetics can be. While the vast majority of people fall into one of the eight standard blood types, there are incredibly rare exceptions. Among the most unique is Rh null, often referred to as golden blood. What makes this blood type so rare is that it lacks all 61 Rh antigens, the proteins that typically exist on the surface of red blood cells. While most people are either Ag positive or Ag negative based on the presence or absence of the D antigen, Rh null individuals don't have any of them, not a single Rh marker. 
to date, fewer than 50 people worldwide are known to have RH null blood, making it one of the rarest blood types in existence. While that may sound extraordinary, having this type comes with serious medical challenges. If someone with RH null blood ever needs a transfusion, only another person with RH null blood can safely donate to them. There are no universal donors for RH null individuals, which makes finding a match in an emergency extremely difficult. Blood banks rarely carry this type, and those who have it are often encouraged to become regular donors and be listed on rare blood registries. However, H null blood isn't just valuable for transfusions, it's also incredibly important for medical research, particularly in immunohematology, where it helps scientists better understand how blood group antigens function. So while it may be a burden to live with, it's also a unique biological gift with global importance. Comment, golden blood is truly one in a million if you're amazed by how rare and valuable Rh null blood is blood types and disease risk. While blood type may not define your overall health, it can have a significant influence on your susceptibility to certain diseases. Research has shown that your blood type could impact your risk of developing conditions like heart disease, cancer and even ulcers. For instance, Harvard University research indicates that people with type O blood tend to have a lower risk of heart disease compared to other blood types. One possible reason for this is that individuals with type O blood have lower levels of clotting factors and inflammatory markers that are often linked to cardiovascular problems. These factors can play a major role in conditions like atherosclerosis, which is a build-up of fatty deposits in arteries, leading to heart attacks and strokes. However, heart disease risk is not solely determined by blood type. Lifestyle choices such as diet, exercise and avoiding smoking have a much larger impact. Even though type O individuals may have a lower baseline risk for heart disease, adopting healthy habits is still essential for maintaining a healthy heart. In contrast, those with type AB blood appear to have the highest risk of heart disease. Research suggests that this may be due to the way type AB blood affects cholesterol levels and blood vessel response to inflammation. These individuals should pay extra attention to managing cholesterol and keeping their blood pressure in check to reduce the likelihood of cardiovascular problems. When it comes to type A blood, there is evidence suggesting that individuals with this blood type may have an increased risk of stomach cancer. This could be linked to higher cortisol levels, the hormone produced in response to stress. High cortisol levels can suppress the immune system and promote inflammation, which may contribute to the development of certain cancers, particularly in the stomach. While some blood types offer protective advantages, type O individuals, for example, face other health risks. They are more prone to developing stomach ulcers, particularly those caused by the bacterium Helicobacter pylori, and may also have a higher risk of skin cancer, including melanoma. Although blood type does play a role in disease risk, it is just one factor among many. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, stress management, and avoiding harmful habits like smoking can help reduce your overall risk of disease, no matter your blood type. Comment, my blood type really does matter if you were surprised to learn how blood type can influence disease risk. Blood types and diet, does it really matter? For many years, the idea that your blood type could determine the best diet for you gained significant attention. Popularised by the book Eat Right for Your Type in the 1990s, this concept suggested that different blood types require different diets for optimal health. According to the author, people with type O blood should follow a high protein diet rich in meat, poultry and fish because their ancestors were hunters. Type A individuals were categorised as the agricultural type and advised to avoid meat focusing instead on a plant-based diet. 
type B blood individuals were said to thrive on a more balanced diet, including dairy, while those with type AB blood were considered a blend of types A and B, and thus should eat a combination of the suggested foods. This blood type based diet became quite popular, with many people swearing by the benefits they experience while following it. However, Scientific research has failed to provide any solid evidence supporting the idea that blood type should influence dietary choices. In fact, a comprehensive review published in 2013 concluded that there is no substantial scientific basis for tailoring your diet based on blood type. The review found that the claims made by proponents of the blood type diet lacked sufficient clinical evidence to validate their effectiveness. Essentially, following such a diet does not appear to offer any health benefits when compared to other diets. What likely leads to the perceived improvement some people feel when following a blood type based diet is the elimination of processed foods and unhealthy eating habits. By focusing on whole foods, reducing sugar intake and cutting out processed ingredients, anyone, regardless of blood type, can experience improvements in energy, weight management and overall health. These benefits come from healthier food choices, not from eating according to one's blood type. So while the idea of tailoring your diet to your blood type may sound appealing, the science behind it simply doesn't support the notion. A more effective approach for everyone, no matter their Comment, healthy eating should be backed by science. If you think diet plans should rely on real evidence, not just blood type theories. Types and personality, the Japanese connection. In Japan, the idea that blood type can influence personality traits is a widely accepted belief, akin to how some people think zodiac signs play a role in shaping a person's behavior. This belief is deeply rooted in Japanese culture and even extends to various forms of media such as anime and manga where characters' blood types often serve as indicators of their personalities. According to this cultural phenomenon, individuals with type A blood are generally seen as organised, considerate and reliable. They are believed to prefer structure and order, making them excellent planners and meticulous workers. On the other hand, type B individuals are perceived as independent, creative and sometimes even a bit eccentric or unconventional. They are seen as free-spirited individuals who value personal freedom and tend to avoid being tied down by societal expectations. Type AB blood, which is considered the rarest, is often associated with a balanced and dual nature. People with this blood type are thought to be a combination of type A and type B characteristics, making them adaptable and sometimes unpredictable. Finally, type O individuals are often viewed as confident, energetic and outgoing. They are believed to be natural leaders who enjoy taking charge of situations and have a strong sense of self. While this blood type personality connection is widely accepted in Japanese culture, Scientific studies have consistently found no evidence to support the idea that blood type has any influence on a person's personality. Research into this concept has largely debunked the claims made by blood type proponents. Numerous studies have tried to establish a link between blood type and personality traits, but the findings have been inconclusive. In fact, most studies suggest that personality is influenced by a complex array of factors, including genetics, environment, upbringing, and individual experiences, none of which include blood type as a determining factor. The idea of linking blood type to personality may also be rooted in confirmation bias, where individuals tend to notice and remember instances that align with their beliefs. For example, if someone believes that type A people are organized, and finds a few type A individuals who fit that description, they may conclude that there is a valid connection between blood type and personality. In the end, while the notion of blood type influencing personality remains popular in certain cultures, it is important to recognise that it is more of a cultural myth than a scientifically backed fact. Personality traits are far more complex and cannot be neatly tied to one's blood type. 
comment, I used to believe blood type shaped personality, if you've ever heard or believed, this popular idea from Japanese culture, the importance of knowing your blood type. Knowing your blood type is more important than you might think. It's a simple piece of information that can have a significant impact on your health and safety. While most people go through life without ever considering their blood type, there are several reasons why it's worth finding out. You can easily discover your blood type by asking your doctor to test it during your next checkup or, even better, by donating blood. In fact, donating blood is one of the most beneficial ways to both learn your blood type and help others in need. Every time you donate blood, you are not only contributing to a vital cause, but you could also save up to four lives. Having knowledge of your blood type can be incredibly important in several situations, especially in medical emergencies. For instance, in the event of an accident or surgery, knowing your blood type allows doctors to administer the correct blood transfusion without risking dangerous immune reactions. Incompatible blood transfusions can cause severe complications, including organ failure and death. By knowing your blood type, you reduce the risk of such issues and ensure that should you ever need a transfusion, it will be a smooth and safe process. Another reason to know your blood type is its role in pregnancy. If a woman has Rh negative blood and her partner has Rh negative blood, there could be potential complications during pregnancy, particularly with subsequent pregnancies. The mother's immune system may develop antibodies against the baby's blood cells, which can lead to hemolytic disease of the newborn. Knowing both parents' blood types can help doctors take the necessary precautions, such as administering Rh immunoglobulin to prevent complications. Beyond medical concerns, understanding your blood type also plays a role in your overall health. While blood type itself doesn't directly dictate your risk for certain diseases, as we've seen with other factors like lifestyle and genetics, being aware of your blood type can help guide your health decisions. Whether you're focusing on heart health, disease prevention, or even considering a blood donation to help those in need, being informed and proactive can lead to a longer, healthier life. While certain blood types may have advantages or disadvantages in some situations, the most important factor in maintaining good health is how we treat our bodies. By staying informed, making healthy lifestyle choices and understanding how your body functions, you give yourself the best chance to live a long and vibrant life. So, take a moment to find out your blood type. You never know how it might come in handy when you least expect it. Comment, I know my blood type and proud of it. If you believe everyone should be prepared for emergencies by knowing their blood type. And there you have it. We've explored the fascinating world of blood types and it's clear that your blood type is much more than just a label. It plays a key role in your health, influencing everything from disease risks to medical treatments. Whether you're more susceptible to certain health conditions or you're in need of a blood transfusion, knowing your blood type can be life-saving. We also debunked the popular myths like the blood type diet, which might sound appealing but isn't supported by scientific evidence. While your blood type may influence some health factors, diet should be based on science, not theories. Similarly, while blood type and personality may be a fun concept in some cultures, there's no scientific proof to back up the idea that your blood type determines who you are. Knowing your blood type is incredibly important, whether it's for emergency situations, pregnancy, or simply making informed health choices. It's a small piece of information that could make a big difference when it comes to your well-being. So, take a moment to find out your blood type if you haven't already. It's an easy step that could help you stay prepared and healthy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe for more insightful content. Thanks for watching and take care.